What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today, we're going to talk about how you can stop procrastinating to finally be successful. Now, this is not the kind of video that I usually make. I usually keep it pretty data focused, but this one has been requested so many times by so many people, I decided that I was just going to make it. And usually it comes from somebody who reaches out and basically says that they've been trying to become a data analyst for a year or two, but they keep pushing it off for whatever reason. And they're wondering what they can do to stop procrastinating and stop pushing it off and finally do it. We're going to go through my top three things that you can do to stop procrastinating. And if you stop procrastinating, you start doing these things and implementing these things, they will absolutely help you be more successful. It is really hard to start doing things and get on track and then not be more successful than you are right now. Usually that is a pretty good recipe for success. So let's jump right into it with number one, which is you need to get rid of distractions. Now, if I'm being honest, this is probably the most difficult one for me out of the three that we're talking about today, because I would say that I was somewhat addicted to video games and Netflix or, or just like, you know, watching videos and TV. I would spend most of my free time, if not all of my free time doing that. And so I did what most gamers would shed a tear for. And I got rid of my Xbox completely with all the controllers and all the games. And I logged out of my Netflix account where I could log back in, but I didn't. And I basically went cold turkey from all of those things. And it was extremely tough. But that for me was one of the biggest things because I spent all of my time doing that and I didn't spend any of my time, you know, investing in my future or my career. I just was spending time in the moment doing those things. And so I now had all of this available free time, hours and hours of free time to be able to devote to the things that actually would help me be successful in the long run. Number two is having goals and ambitions for your career and your future. And you just got rid of those distractions. And for you, it may just be 30 minutes or one hour every single night. And so that's about seven hours a week that you can now dedicate towards achieving these goals. Looking back to my peak of procrastination when I knew I wanted to accomplish things and I just didn't, one of the biggest things that was holding me back is I didn't have a clear picture for the things I wanted to achieve. I just said, well, you know, I want to be successful, but I didn't have any building blocks. I didn't have any goals that I wanted to actually meet in order to get there. I just kind of wanted to be there. And so I would push it off because it seems so insurmountable, right? And so when you actually sit down and you say, here are the things that I'm going to do, I'm going to take this course, I'm going to get this certification, I'm going to apply, and you set deadlines and timelines for yourself, and those things become more realistic and they become more achievable. And for me, that was huge. I feel like when I was first starting out, I didn't have a sense of purpose. I didn't have a sense of, you know, here are the things that I can do to actually get to where I want, which was to become a data analyst. And then I realized like SQL was the thing that I wanted to do. That became my goal. And so I set aside all this time and I got rid of all these distractions and just started honing in and spending all my time learning SQL and becoming really good at it because I knew or I felt that if I could achieve that, if I could become really good at it, that would help me be successful. That was a goal that I had to ultimately achieve becoming a data analyst. Number three is creating a routine and forming a habit. Now, this one can happen accidentally or kind of as you go through the motions of those first two things of getting rid of your distractions and creating goals, because once you start achieving those goals and, and, and really pursuing it and not giving up, you're going to create habits and you're going to form those routines, but you can also be extremely intentional about it. And I'm the kind of person who likes to create habits intentionally. And so every single night for the past five years, I have spent probably two to three hours either studying or creating YouTube videos. That's just what I've done. And I have stuck to it almost religiously because I have goals and things that I wanted to achieve, uh, whether I was first becoming a data analyst or now as a manager and having a YouTube channel, there are things that I still want to achieve and I want to do with my life. And so I am very intentional with my time and I created that habit and that routine and that has helped me immensely over the past five years because I know that every single night at the end of the night, I have dedicated time to do these things. And there are absolute days where you are gonna get out of your routine, you're gonna go do something, go hang out with friends, do something else, and that is completely fine. But being able to jump back in that routine and get back into that habit, that is extremely important for long-term success. Now, I may have made all of that sound super easy, but I promise you it is extremely difficult. And that's why so many people have probably reached out to me because it's very difficult. And I understand that more than almost anybody. But if you follow these things and you really are intentional with your time and you follow these three steps, there is no way that you can't make progress. 
If you do these things, you absolutely will make progress and you will be more successful than you are yesterday and the day before. It's all about being consistent, making a goal, getting rid of those distractions and creating a routine where that becomes part of your life. I like to think about it like this. In three months or six months, where will I be? Will I still be pushing things off and be six months behind? Or will I be six months ahead when I'm studying and I'm doing the things that I need to do to get to where I want to be? I spent years just procrastinating and pushing things off and never making any progress and just feeling like I could have done so much with my past and really regretting all that time I wasted. But I finally was able to kind of get it together and implement these things for a long time. Probably the last five years I've been doing these things. And if you start today, that can be you in five years. And so this is kind of more of a motivational speech at the end, but I promise you that these things work. You just have to do them. And so if you are in the process of wanting to become a data analyst, but you keep pushing it off, this is a message directly for you. And I hope that this is the information and the motivation that you needed in order to start making progress on your career. Stop right here, get rid of those distractions, make a plan, set some goals, and then start building that routine starting today. I hope this has been helpful. I really genuinely do. If you like this video, be sure to like and subscribe below. I'll see you in the next video.